Hello, Church of Our Savior. It is Wednesday, June 28th. We are in summer, the season of vacations. I'm just coming back from a vacation myself. And often when I talk with people about their vacation plans, they will say something to me along the lines of, yep, I'm going to go off and I'm not going to do anything spiritual at all. That always makes me smile when people say that. I assume that when they tell me something like that, what they mean is that they're not going to go to church or they're not going to pray or do anything that is sort of overtly religious. But I'm not sure they're going to escape being spiritual. In fact, I'd like to spend some time in this message just briefly reflecting with you on the nature of spirituality. Spirituality is one of those words that gets thrown around a lot in our culture, but it can be notoriously difficult to define. I found that the best, most helpful definition of that word is a very simple one. Spirituality is dwelling in what is real. Spirituality is connecting with reality, with what we believe to be most real. And because every human being has some idea of what is real, every human being has a spirituality. Even if you are a materialistic atheist and you believe the only thing that is real is something you can see, taste, touch, hear, measure. You know, this tree is real because I can slap it. Even that is a spirituality. Well, Christian spirituality believes that what is most real is God. And God is love as Jesus reveals God to be. In our tradition, spirit doesn't arise from matter. Matter arises from spirit. God existed Long before this universe ever was, God will be God long after this universe has ceased to exist. You know, as the Lord says in the prophet Isaiah, the heavens will vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like a garment, but my salvation will be forever. God is what is real. But that doesn't mean that being spiritual is somehow completely separated from living in this physical world. Quite the opposite. It's in this creation, in this universe, with all of its beauty and its delight, with all of its pain and its difficulty, it's in this universe that we are called to be spiritual, to dwell in the reality of God's love and to connect with God's love. We have spiritual practices that are meant to do just that, help us practice to stay connected. Those include things like worship, prayer, meditation, contemplation. But those are not the only spiritual things we do. In fact, those just help us to be spiritual in everything that we do. Because in everything we do, we can abide in the reality of God's love. So, going to church can be spiritual, sure. But walking on the beach can be spiritual. Peeling a potato can be spiritual. Playing soccer can be spiritual. Making love can be spiritual. Anything done in the light of Christ and with that intent of connecting with the reality of God Christ reveals is by definition spiritual. That doesn't mean we have to be consciously thinking about God or Jesus all the time. It just means that we are aware, we are cognizant of what is most real. And what is most real is love. So that also applies to all the difficult, painful moments in our life. Because recovering from the flu can be spiritual. Going through chemotherapy can be spiritual. Caring for a friend who's gone through a terrible loss can be spiritual. 
helping those we love to die can be spiritual. Dying ourselves can be spiritual because all of those provide opportunities for us to connect with reality and to abide in God's love. In fact, I, I feel convinced that part of our mission as human beings in this world, as beings made in the image of God, is to expand love everywhere, to share in God's infinite creativity so that in all the circumstances that we find ourselves in this world, we can connect with love, we can express love, we can be with what is most real. I, I, that's part of, for me of the, of the challenge and the joy of, of being alive is, is sharing in that great work of expanding God's love in every possible circumstance. This is at the core of what it means to be spiritual. You know, I've quoted Teilhard de Chardin to you before, and he's worth quoting again. We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. You know, we are deeply connected to God's Holy Spirit. We are already embraced by the love and the reality of God. And it is for us to live that out in this physical world during the time we have in this world as human beings. What will come next, we can't even imagine. But right now, spirituality means abiding in God's love, dwelling in reality here in this world, even when we go on vacation. So whatever you're doing this summer, I hope that it's enjoyable and fun and relaxing and refreshing and all you need it to be. But I just want to remind you that in the midst of all that, your spiritual being is very much alive and everything that you and I do this summer can indeed be deeply and richly spiritual. Hope you have a blessed week. God loves you. I love you. Peace.